All right, guys, tutorial number three on the DJM 900 Nexus mixer from Pioneer. In tutorial number three, we're going to look at the phones, also known as headphone socket, and the level control for the headphones, also known as the volume control. You'll need a quarter inch jack, make sure that's connected to your headphones, and you'll need to plug that in to the phone's socket, which is situated bottom left-hand corner of the 900 mixer. I have at the moment got this CD player plugged into channel one, and the track I'm going to be using is called Higher by Deception. I'm going to press play on the player. We can see straight away the LEDs shining on channel one. We still can't hear anything. That's because I have not pressed the Q button here on that channel. We press that and we still can't hear anything. That is because I have not turned the level up yet here. The level is found just above where I've put the headphones into. So I need to now start to move the level volume clockwise. We can now start to hear the track and we're listening to the track via the headphones. The more I turn the level volume clockwise, the louder that volume will get. The more I turn that volume anti-clockwise, the quieter that volume will get. An important factor with using the headphones. At the top of that channel, we have the trim dial. If I reduce the trim dial, turn that anti-clockwise, not only can you see the LEDs starting to stop flashing as much, but we can also hear the volume is going down. So if you have the Q button pressed and shining, you have the level volume up, you have your headphone socket plugged in and your headphones ready to go and you don't hear anything. Also, you do not have any LEDs shining on the channel at which the signal is coming in from your player or your music source into that channel then it is highly likely the reason you don't have any sound is because the trim volume is set to zero. You need, or should I say to seven o'clock, which is zero. You need to make sure the trim is set and moved clockwise, giving you volume. At any time, I can press the Q button on that channel and stop the volume coming through the headphones. If I have another music source in channel two and another one in channel three and another one in channel four, I can at any given time press the relevant Q button below the channels and I can in turn hear those channels. Also, if I wanted to hear two channels at the same time, I can press Q on channel one. If, for example, I had music coming through channel two, I could also press channel two. At this point, if there was music coming in through channel two, I would be able to hear at the same volume as has been set by my level. And also to make sure I have the same volume through the headphones, if I set the trim at the same level, also, if I have the LEDs tapping at the same amount, then I will hear the same amount of audio through the headphones on channel one and channel two. If I turn the trim down on either channel one, channel two, sorry, here, or channel one, I will in turn decrease that given channel and in turn decrease the volume coming through my headphones on that channel. I can do exactly the same with one, two, three, and four, or four and one, or four and three, and so on. That's entirely up to you. The most important feature though about the level control here is to be very wary on how much you turn it up. Because even though you're listening to music through small speakers on your headphones, you still can damage your ears 
with the headphones right next to your ears and the music being very loud right next to your ear. Very important to watch levels. A small tutorial here, tutorial number three on level control and the headphone input on the DJM 900 mixer. Practice and enjoy, thank you. <laughs> 